Bajo, Perla. <laughs> no, it's a bio fertilizer, it's an uh, extract, it's a dilution of minerals, enzymes, microorganisms, they basically lactobacillus that enables plants to drink minerals to take what they need directly, immediately, like in, in 30 seconds after you spray. So it's a polia, we use it as a polia and also as a drip irrigation it can be used, yeah? It's a dilution. And the way we make dilutions, it's uh, the same way a cow makes it. Cow makes it its own dilution and eats these juices to grow a, a body out of mineral. And if you don't want to become bone dust, mate... <laughs> they like the bone dust. <laughs> so to make, this is what basically the materials we need to make biofertilizer. First, we need the bacteria. So for the bacteria, we need fresh cow shed. And I, what I mean fresh, straight out of the cow's ass. Warm, <laughs> steaming hot. Yeah, I that is the best. I thought that's why we brought the baby up here. Yeah. <laughs> we can also do that one. And uh, if, it would be better if you can get a hold of rumen. Yeah? Rumen, the rumen contents of a cow, when they kill a cow, they have you can cut the first stomach, open it up, and then take that mass, which pretty much looks like this. And that's also very useful. That is even more useful because then you have more bacteria. Once the bacteria is out in the air, it starts decaying, it starts dying. The sun, the, the air, it starts killing it. So if you're going to make it with rumen, it's really good. And here are some tips when you go and get rumen. Don't do what King just did. He went out the last course and got some rumen, put it in the bucket, and then closed the bucket. That's a big mistake. It's alive. It's producing a lot of gas. And by the time you arrive home, you have the whole youth, the back of your youth, or everything <laughs> nicely splashed with <laughs> rumen all over the place. So if you want to get some rumen from the from the nearby, uh, what's it called? Abattoir. Abattoir. Thank you. You bring one of those drums. Give them to them and put five liters of water and half a liter of molasses in it and mix it well and bring it to the abattoir. So the guy when he puts it rumen, you want to ask him for two buckets of rumen and that's what we need. The basic materials for biofertilizer are two buckets of rumen or cow manure or calf manure yeah, or calf rumen which is the best. That's not so easy to get but if you can, that will be good. You will need uh, minerals, <laughs> and we need basically five to seven kilos of minerals, and those minerals can be rock dust, bone dust, ashes, phosphoric rock, or you can put sulfates as well. You can put any minerals you like, and we will do a mix. We wa what we want is a variety, diversity of minerals. Everything in permaculture is diversity here as well. There is no difference. So what we want is, I would go, for instance, here we have bone dust, we have a little bit of ashes, we have rock dust. We will play with it and we will use a little bit of it. Then we need two liters of molasses. We need one to two hundred grams of dry yeast. And, how does that, do we have everything? And, well, milk, milk. We need two liters of milk, which is in the fridge. We we'll just take it out of it. Do you want it now? Yeah. Thank you. Does it matter yeah. if it's pasteurized? It doesn't matter. No. I mean, it's better if not, but if there is no choice. That is all you have. Yeah, you can use it. No worries. And How much then. How was there? Sorry. Sorry. How much mineral was there? Minerals you can use five to seven kilos, no more than that. And then you can use water. Water has to be chlorine free. If you use chlorinated water, it just kills your bacteria. Yeah. And water will use about 150 liters, 140, depends on the drum. Yeah. Materials we need, we need a plastic drum like this, with a big mouse, like this, with a lid. And every time you buy a drum like this, make sure it has a seal. Sometimes they sell them, and the seal is not here. Or the seal is broken, and it's a missing part somewhere. Like uh, George uh, John's place, we had, I mean, at Ben's place, we had this drum, and this, the lid had a, a, 
part of this seal broken and we didn't realize so we I wouldn't I couldn't get this thing right and it was leaking and I said where is it leaking from we couldn't figure out until I saw the it was black so we couldn't see it was broken so no, 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 just make sure the seal is whole yeah it's not, it's not broken and then you need hose like this one meter of crystal clear you can, we want actually to see through it that's very important and also we will need um, what else do we need? We will need something like this. It's, this is what it's called in irrigation systems a initial coupling. I don't know here how it's called. Initial coupling. It has two different sets. You, this is a gasket. You insert. You put the gasket on the lid, and then you insert it by pushing it hard. So it's a mechanical seal. It doesn't have any silicone, it doesn't need anything else. So it, you can twist it and move it around and it won't lose the seal, yeah? We want this to be uh, airtight, so this is the thing we use. This is only half a dollar or one dollar. It won't cost you more. <coughs> you get it with the irrigation systems. They sell irrigation system stuff. And, uh, and also we will need a Coca-Cola bottle. This is maybe Coca-Cola bottle. Coca-Cola? Coca-Cola, please. <laughs> the sort of... It has to be a two-liter bottle. It, it, has to, it can be plastic, it doesn't matter what it is. But we just want it to be two liters because this will create pressure and after some time it will be vacuum and it sucks the water in. So if you don't have two liters, well, no, crystal clear. We have, to, we want to see through it. And uh, I can see a lot of water bottles here. One point two five. That'll be beautiful. Yeah, that'll do. Just cut off the before the the photo shops. Cut off the brandy. Yeah, get rid of it. You don't want to film this. <laughs> we don't want to have you know. <laughs> <laughs> them. Okay. Yeah, yeah. What's it? What's the the other brand? Pepsi. Pe no, no, no. There is a Virgin Cola. <laughs> Virgin Cola. So you want your bottle? This is very important part of the story, and we need some wire. So basically, this is all we need to do biofertilizer. Now, what do we? Why do we use what we use? As I said, the cow shed, it's only because of the bacteria and the mass, the biomass, a little bit, no? So we want the bacteria. We, it, if you go out in the field and you get all these beautiful cow poos, it won't work. If they are one year old, two, two, I mean one day old, two days old, they won't because you don't have the bacteria anymore. We are after the bacteria. So that's the first thing you get. And if you go and get rumen, that's even better. As I said, put some water in here, put some melasas, mix it, and when the guys put the rumen inside, give them your lid already with the hole in it. Because otherwise he'll put the lid, close it, and after five hours or so, bam, it is closed. <laughs> because that bloody bacteria produces a lot of gases. It's alive, no? So give him like this, so it's not sealed gas can come through the hole already, yeah? So you bring it to your side and that, that will last, you can you can save it from one day to the other. So you can come to the abitual, give him the drum and come the, the, the day after to collect your, your rumen and it will be alive. Because you still, the bacteria got some melasas, some sugar, which is energy for them, to keep on going. And if you went and collected the bones at the same time, could you sort out the bones and <coughs> still have time to? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, trips? if you then I'll bring two drums, one for the bones, one for the for the rumen, yep. and that'll do. Yeah, that's no problem.